Hey, this is pretty cool. We've got a farming update in Subnautica. We're seeing tons of new little things hidden in the game, and I'm pretty fucking excited to try them. Uh, mainly the farming should be very useful, but there's actually a lot more than just farming in this update. Let me show you just one of them. That's right, we have a new opening animation for the game, but it comes at quite the price. Let me tell you. That Aurora is already blown up. We're a little bit into the game. We have had to make a new save file compared to the one that we were on earlier in this series. Every time they bring out a new update in the early access game that is Subnautica, all of that new stuff is only in-game when you create a new game. Meaning, if I stayed on the previous save file we were already on with all the progress that we'd made, we wouldn't see any of the new stuff. None of it. And there's still so much to explore and enjoy in the update and the many updates that we've not seen yet and the many areas we've not seen yet. But I... Obviously, I'm not going to ignore the brand new farming update and all of the little intricate things that come with it. That I'm really excited to show you. So, what did I do to deal with it? Well, I, uh, <laughs> I basically loaded up the stream and played for about four hours. And we pretty much got everything back. But more than just that, we've got even more than that. Now, admittedly, we do not have the Cyclops yet, but we have the brand new base. Now, I wanted to redesign the base to be much more functional, cool, enjoyable, useful, visually better. And I was going to break, break everything down that we had to do that. And it sort of saved me some time in a way, this new update. And we have plans for lots of new stuff. So let me give you a little tour of the current base and the current situation with it and my plans for today's episode, of which there are many. Hopefully we can achieve a bunch of them. So let's go into the base. This is the storage room, supply room. We have quartz, titanium, uh, power stuff, um, copper, silver, gold. We've got... <laughs> look, look. L it's lubricant. I just didn't want to type the full thing. I was lazy. That's why. That's why. We have lithium in here. That's right. We've already got lithium. Uh, you might be interested in what this is, actually. Uh, let me bring my UI back. This is an egg. No idea. <laughs> I have some plans, though, with that. We have a fabricator in here. You may notice we already have power as well. Let me climb up here. We have the sort of second level. This is going to be the fabricator room, the modification station room, the sort of power room where we get lots of stuff done. But we're going to make it look nice and pretty soon. The Hall of Memories. There are no memories here right now. But this is where there will be. Some bulkheads here. The moon pool with the upgrade station already prepared. Ready to go. And, of course, the second half of the base. Maybe interested to see it. Quite simple, this design. We have a few randomly placed foundations that are basically holding the tunnels themselves. And they're placed in the way that they are to allow a small outdoor section to be used right here. And here. And here. 
and that is where all of our or a good majority of our beginning farm is going to be we're going to make that look really pretty and i'm excited to show you that i've already got a bunch of stalker teeth and the reason that that's exciting is because it means i can make an enable, enable glass already if you don't know what an emerald glass is used for, here, where is it? It's uh, in... I think it's in copper? Yeah, it is. Um, Stalker teeth. Uh, yeah, it's used to make the glass corridors and the observatory, which is going to look really pretty. And the plan is to maybe change some of this tunnel here into just that, into a glass tunnel, which will look absolutely phenomenal. So visually, I'm already really excited to change the base and make it look fucking awesome. But there's a couple of things that we need to address first, like the modification station, like a couple of things like that. We also have a couple of new things like the large aquarium. We've not even got an aquarium. We have the small aquarium to make as well, obviously, um, and that kind of stuff. But we have a new power component. Uh, solar panels are missing. I've not found any yet. You have to go out and find a lot more blueprints. Um, I should probably explain that as well. Blueprints are super important. And you start with a fuck ton of them, actually. This time, in the new update, you start with, well, not that much. Not that much at all. Um, they barely give you anything, in fact. And I had to wait for the Aurora to explode before I could actually see and find any blueprints. You'll notice the Aurora looks fucking awesome now. Like, it always looked cool, right? But now it just looks... Really cool. In fact, you know what? Holy shit. That's a screenshot right there. Oh my god. Hall of Memories. There we go. Got a couple of screenshots right there. Hall of Memories, boys. Gotta get the Hall of Memories. That looked amazing. We got one of the moon at last. We got one of the moon at last, guys. <laughs> and yes, the um, Aurora looks really cool now. There's a lot more shipwreck stuff that I've noticed while I was streaming that we're gonna go find. But yeah, there's a lot that we can do. So why don't we begin by making our modification station on the next level. And we'll make our work room. There is a new power supply that I was talking about. Solar power and stuff is super important. And they put like way more like power and, and use to it, basically. So look how my power is drained already. It's gone. It's done. 12 left. This base is currently being powered by just one generator right here. This is new. This is the bioreactor. What it does is it takes biofuel, like creep vine and um, fungus and stuff like that, and sort of like consumes it and turns it into power. And it gives you 200 power per bioreactor, which is really good, but it, it powers really slowly. It will work for the night, unlike the solar power panels, but the solar panels are obviously a lot better and a lot more valuable and useful but you don't start with them anymore and i've been searching high and low and well everywhere to find them to find the fragments to be able to make them to find the blueprints and unfortunately i've not found them yet so that's sort of a main objective for us but let's go ahead and make ourselves a workroom and get that going silicone fiber is a lot harder to get your hands on it's much harder to deal with um for some reason and the reason right now that makes sense is that they want to make it harder to get your base stuff. You know, it feels harder when you first survive because it was kind of too easy. So we need one, two, and then we need one more after this one. There we go. So we need one more after that. Um, these seed clusters are actually used for a lot more now. One of which, you know, that it's used for is specifically silicone fiber. It no longer requires two quarts to make one silicone. It requires these seed clusters, the same stuff that you use for lubricants. So it's now much more relevant, um, which is both good and bad. You know, good for change and bad because it's a lot harder to get your hands on. And we're running out right now. We're running out. I've, I've plucked that dry, as you can see. Um, so it's, it's really like a bad situation. But why it's not that bad is because you're actually able to farm silicone and you're actually able to farm these seed clusters. So once we get a farm going... It'll be okay. It'll be a reliable, renewable resource that we can, you know, handle. Wapow. Diamond blade created. Two high-capacity tanks. Good to go. There we go. Alright, so now we're fully upgraded. 
Good to go. So this is where I'm storing the power stuff. So we get these creep vine samples. I think you need three and one fungal sample. Uh, and then it just sort of consumes it until it makes 200 power is my guess. So maybe I won't be able to make another one yet. And that'll fuel it again. And I was eating it up. You can hear it working. And I should be like generating power again. Maybe I could make a couple of those and do that all at once, but it's not reliable energy. It really isn't. Getting those fungal samples requires you to go to the giant mushroom biome, and that is one dangerous to go and a big effort to go there, um, but it's not reliable at all, whereas solar energy is obviously a lot, lot better. We have to upgrade and modify the seam off, so let's do that now on camera. Uh, let's get true blue black. There we go, looking good. Got the interior yellow again. Looking gold in there. Awesome. True blue. Welcome back, my man. Welcome back. It hurt me to lose you so quickly. Okay. And then we got to work on the Cyclops next. Cyclops works so differently now. Like, making one, I'm excited to talk about that. But I don't know whether I'll be able to do that this episode. But yeah, there's a lot. So much change, dude. There's so much change. So we saw these earlier. These seeds. We have purple stalk seeds. We have red bush seeds. How I got them was basically going up to fauna. Like this. And hitting it with my knife. Got blue palm here. Why don't we scan everything, by the way? Maybe we could learn some interesting information about each plant. You know, you get these seeds. But the issue is, you need somewhere to put them. And the idea is that we have, like, plant pots and little, like, basic beds. Yeah, beds, that's the word. For each thing. So you see how I've got blue palm seed. Riving weed seed. We have these seeds, but I don't really know how to plant them. And how to get these uh, beds for them. So maybe I could s scan it is what I thought. But obviously not. And there's no visual like thing in yet. It even it is a box. But even then it's a uh, question mark. So we've got to work this one out. After a quick Google search. I found out that everything lines up perfectly. It turns out that to get the pots. And the exterior plant beds. And the interior plant beds. And all the things that we're going to need. You need to go to abandoned bases and we know there's one on floater island the giant island the only bit of land that we know of in subnautica right now uh, i've not been here in this series it's been like seven months since i've last been there i'm sure there are changes there it's a great place to take screenshots for the hall of memories which i'm excited about um and basically there's a lot over there that you know we need so we're gonna head over there right now and go check out all of the changes that might be over there. Plus, go get these uh, plants and check out abandoned bases and stuff. So, if I remember right, I think I remember how to get there. What you have to do is go to the Aurora, look at the Aurora, and head in the direction that takes you behind the jets. Now, I've not been to the Aurora on this save file, so there's radiation everywhere, but I am wearing a radiation suit, so it's fine. But, yeah, you want to get behind the jets of the Aurora... And then just head in the direction as if, like, you're going away from the jets. Like, basically over here. Okay, so that right there... I think is an engine for the Cyclops. I'm going for it. Look at that. Like a crash bit of the Aurora here, look. Wow. There's loads of, like, parts of the Aurora here. That looks amazing. Engine fragment. We need three of those. I think he might be behind me, dude. There. We got it. Okay. Awesome. So, that's the engine of the Cyclops got. Now we just need the bridge, I think. So we have the hull, which is just three pieces of the Cyclops. We've got the engine, which is three pieces of an engine. Now we just need the bridge. The steering wheel, basically. 
There it is. We fucking found it. Oh, that was horrifying. Alright. We'll leave you there. Oh, it feels weird and good to be on land again. Like, you, you feel safer here. And as you can see, on the horizon... Oh, isn't that just lovely? The sunrise. Oh, that's so nice. The moon leaving and the sun rising. Let's go. Oh, I can see a base up there. I can see a base up there. That's what we're here for. Right, so we're going to get some nice screenshots while we're here. Mostly safe here. I wonder if there's like a lot of seas that you can get here. Oh, listen to the birds, man. Right, here's a nice screenshot. There we go. Like, let's check if we can get some seeds. Pink flower. I'm pretty much um, scanning all of these as well. We'll find, like, nice information about it, but... Four seeds. Okay. That should be enough. This one takes a little bit longer to scan. Feels good to be here, though. Again, it's it feels much safer than any, anywhere else in the game. It's funny. Bobo tree sample. Right. That takes up a lot more space. We have orange petals. I think these ones we're probably going to get some seeds for. There we go. Yeah, see how they take up quite a bit of space. We can come back here anytime and, and sort of get a lot more if we want. I guess I'll get like another orange petal because, you know, we we need more. Right, I've got to make sure I've got space. Okay, that should probably do, actually, because I've got to get stuff out of the base as well while we're here. There's one more plant type that I'll get while I'm here though. I just saw it. These uh, purple rattle. I've seen that in the trailer. They move. Look pretty cool. Alright, that should do it. We're going to need some space left. So how do we get up there to the abandoned base? I think there was one up there and now there's one up there as well. So, what's super in- Oh! Hello. Oh, this is a screenshot right here. Also, hanging fruit. Let me get that shit. Oh, God. Inventory full. I only get one of those. All right. Let's drop um, a pink mushroom. There we go. Now, if inventory is full, we're going to have to drop some stuff, unfortunately. But this is a nice screenshot right here. The abandoned base. Oh, look at that. Plant pot right there. And... There we go. We've got so many nice screenshots from here. God damn. Okay. Oh, God. Melons, vegetables. My inventory is full, guys. We'll eat this hanging fruit. Look. It's, it's to be consumed, isn't it? Decomposing. All right. So, that's, it's something you eat rather than plant. Okay. We've got marble melon here. Wow. This gives you great, like... Resources and food, um, but I don't know if you can plant that again. Like it, we're at this bed of, of right here. I don't think you can plant it. I think that's that's finished. So you're supposed to eat it. If you drop it, that's not how it works. And I can't go into the inventory of this. So I think you're just supposed to eat those, which is good because I need the hydration. Now I saw in the trailer there was crabs here, so it's not safe. But what I was going to say is it's really interesting. Oh. It's really interesting um, that there's abandoned bases because we're the only survivor, right, of the Aurora crash. Does that mean other spaceships have crashed here before? I believe so. But why? That's when conspiracy starts, you know, looming. I am Powell, Chief Executive, Executive Officer of the Tojin Corporation. My crew and I were marooned here five weeks ago. Our ship was struck by a projectile of unknown origin. Three of us left. We constructed a habitat using materials rec reclaimed from the ship. We survived by cultivating indigenous flora. The biochemistry imprint I commissioned for my son has already paid for itself. He has grown enough food to last us a month. Awesome. But this is like rusted. Now I fear for our safety. A mercenary I hired for the journey, Maida, is increasingly disturbed since losing her mate in the crash. She insists we abandon the site and establish a habitat underwater. 
Against my better judgment, I have agreed we will come with her. Wow! Please come for us. Now, this is abandoned for a long time. And something hit their ship. Something attacked them and caused them to crash. And only they, those three survived. Him, his son, and this mercenary. And they've gone and made a base under underwater. They might be out there. We might find them. Or whatever remained of them. Okay, wow. Climb up here. First aid kit. Sure, I guess. Doesn't take up much space. All oh, this. Living wall, I can scan it. I'm so excited about this new update. There's so much to sh just do and it's new stuff. Awesome. Awesome. Thank God I did that while I was here. How many of you were like pulling out your hair thinking I'd forget? Battery, sure. Spotlight. I don't see a spotlight there, but apparently I'm scanning a spotlight. I think that's going to be used for lighting up my base at night, which would be really nice. Very useful. And a desk as well. You can scan the desk as well. I mean, it doesn't look that useful to me, but it might make my base look nicer, so why not scan it? Oh, yeah. There we go. The Starship Desk Blueprint. Okay, so that's great. We've got the exterior grow bed as well here. So we're going to be able to make these back at the base. And we have a few new, like, interior things that we can decorate with as well. And floodlights. I wonder if this is the way you get the observatories themselves. Like, you have to go to these and scan them. That's the only way. Could be, could be. Look at that. You're not being attacked by anything, which is nice. Probably shouldn't have said that. Okay, we've got this glitching supply crate. Disinfected water, we'll take that. Ooh. Alright, we're scanning this up. Just getting information about it. I think this is an interior... Yeah, interior grow bread. Awesome! We've got the exterior, we've got the interior grow bed. We're so fucking ready to start upgrading and making our base look so nice. I'm fucking excited about it. There you go. And the observatory fragment. This is considered a fragment of an observatory. Okay, we can make the observatory now as well. Oh my god! Fuck yeah! This'll do right here. Lovely. Alright. Let's go check out the other one before we leave. I think we'll head back to the base now. We're really pushing our luck. Jesus Christ, this gets quite tight. There we go. Almost up there. Anything unique going on up over here? Oh, we got pots. We got a different type of plant. And we got pots. Plant pot one and plant pot two. So we've got multiple. We're getting every last bit of interior. It's like we found this group the civil, that they sort of had their own ideas about like making a base and we're learning from them. That's cool. And a chair. Oh my god. So like, well not pointless, you know. It's going to be nice visually, but like I don't think we'll be able to really use it for anything. But we have a desk, we have a chair, we have pot, pot type 2 and the outside interior stuff. We have the observatory now. We've learned a lot from these this group and I, I hope that we can find them and uh, and save them or at least help them. But I have a feeling based on the way the game is that maybe we're never going to find them alive, let's say. Although, who knows, with the many updates, maybe they'll add like working NPCs. They've got good animations for, um, for, the, to, for the fish. They could do it on humanoids. Who knows, man? The potential for the story of this game is so good. So we're heading back to the Seamoth now. I want to get out of here. I want to take what I've got and be happy about it. And head back. Welcome aboard, Captain. We got much more than I ever expected from that. Much more. Really happy. And we don't forgot, we don't forget we got the Cyclops engine blueprint on the way here as well. I think it's really cool all this uh updates with the blueprints and the way that you know they're much more important you know you shouldn't be able to just build everything from the get-go just using a fucking escape pods technology honestly i much prefer the way it is now i think they've done some really great things with subnautica excited to see how i can make my base look now though and we're back almost full power on the uh base which is nice gonna consume a lot of that is true blue this uh, bugged out shadows. 
Okay, right. So you have a look at my inventory is absolutely booming, mate. Let's find out how we actually make this stuff. Wow, they're quite big. So we'll do two of these, I guess, like right next to each other on the very edge, about. And do it here. There we go. So we'll do two of these. Doesn't take much titanium to do, which is nice. And then we have seeds that we can put in them, but I don't really know how... Oh, here we go. Oh, they have their own inventory, so pink mushrooms. Whoops. Do we just drag and drop? I've realized now, look at the color scheme. Obviously, this is a uh, surface, green surface. It needs to be on the surface. And blue can be underwater. So any blue seed can go underwater. We need to have that. Um, but I'm, I mean, maybe, maybe we can do like surface stuff indoors as well. So now that we have a couple of seeds that are for underwater, like we intended, we can just put them in like that. There you go. Awesome. And look at that. There's little, like, tiny versions of them. They'll grow soon, I'm sure. Maybe in the, by, we'll see that next time. Look, yeah. Grow 2%. Wow, they grow quite quick, actually. The little You can see the little tiny ones. So we'll let them do that. I'm going to go to the other seeds. Silicone rubber, you know, is, is really important. Um, and like we were saying, it takes up a lot more space now. So, yeah, these are underwater ones. There we go. So we get these all growing. So these are all made, right? And they're, all, they're like 1%, right? What does the other ones look like now? Because they should be like, I don't know, 20%? You can see them a lot better now. They're still tiny. Still absolutely tiny. But you can definitely see them a lot more now. 20%. Awesome. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. So that's some of the exterior stuff. There's still tons of new stuff like the indoor aquariums and the changes with that. We're going to make all this look n so much nicer. We have all the interior stuff like the pots and the desks and the chairs and stuff. Uh, we got to sort out power. The Cyclops we're so close to being able to make now. I'm very happy with the progress we've made today. I hope that you like what we've seen in the new update. And there, are, there is so much more to show you. And I'll be showing you that all next time. Look at that. Look at the creep vine. It's already getting bigger. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, do leave a like. I will see you next time. Goodbye, guys.